Hello everybody and welcome back. Johnny D here. In today's video we have part three of a three-part series on how to build a computer. In today's video we are going to focus on installing Windows, setting up the BIOS, downloading all the software you need to get your computer up and running and get you into gaming. So with that said, without a long intro, let's hop right in. That's a good thing. And it brings us right to our BIOS. We have done everything right so far. Do too much here in the BIOS. We just want to do a couple of things here. Number one, we want to make sure it registers our CPU. We have the i3-12100. It has A2 and B2. It's registering our team group. Our two sticks of RAM. That's good. Um, storage configuration. It's registering our one terabyte XG7000. That's good. So, so far, so good. All right. And that is all we want to do at this point. The next step now is to install Windows. And then after we install Windows, we'll come back into the BIOS. We'll enable XMP and we will put on resizable bar. And that's basically all we're going to do in the BIOS. Right. So the next thing we want to do is uh, create a bootable USB drive to install Windows. So what you're going to need is a any USB drive would do. Uh, I have one here. Basically, you're going to go to another computer, stick it in. What you're going to do is you're going to type in Windows 11 bootable USB drive. Now, if you want to do Windows 10, that's completely up to you. But we're going to do Windows 11. So this is Microsoft.com. Download Windows 11. I'm going to click on that. Then what we need is an installation media. So create Windows 11 installation media. If you want to perform a reinstall, clean install, or Windows 11 on a newer used PC, use this option to download the media creation tool to make a bootable USB or DVD. We're going to make USB. So we're just going to click download now. We're going to go up here in the download folder, click on that. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? We will simply say yes. And it's going to get a few things ready. Just follow the on-screen prompts like I accept. Now, depending on your internet connection and your computer, this could go really fast or it could go really slow. So select language, we want English, select your language. We want USB flash drive, hit next. Uh, we're gonna select the E drive because that's in the E drive, select next. Now downloading Windows 11 in progress. Um, once this is all downloaded, uh, I'll take you through the rest. Okay, now that the USB bootable drive is finished, we're going to go down here and eject the USB drive safely. And we now have your Windows 11 bootable drive. We just created our Windows 11 bootable drive. So we're going to go ahead and put that into one of these USB slots up here in the front. Uh, like I said, we're not doing anything to the BIOS yet. We're going to wait to load Windows, get Windows running. Then we'll go in and we'll enable XMP and, and resize the bar. So with that said, we're going to escape, discard changes, exit. We didn't make any changes, so yes. And we did it right. We'll get the ASUS logo, and then it should boot into uh, the USB Windows. With our ASRock logo. Basically, we're just going to follow the on screen prompts. Uh, we, we want English, so we'll go ahead and say next. We want to install now. Setup is starting. Now, it's going to ask you if you have a Windows key. I personally do not have a Windows key yet. Um, there's a couple things you can do. You can go to Microsoft and actually buy a copy of Windows from Microsoft. 
uh, and use that key and put it in here. I always recommend you do that. There are other options out there. You can go to like GVG Mall and buy an OEM Windows key for like $28. Uh, CVD Mall, is, there's a bunch of websites you can do that. I'm not affiliated with any of them, but um, I always say go to Microsoft, get yourself a good copy of Windows. So I'm gonna say I do not have a product key. All right, I am gonna install Windows 11 Home. Now this is important. You gotta remember which kind of Windows you installed. If you installed Home, uh, Pro, Pro N, because if you install Windows Pro and you buy a Windows 11 Home key, Windows Pro will not recognize the Home key. So if you're gonna install Windows 11 Home, Make sure you buy a lit Windows 11 Home key. Otherwise, you'll have to reinstall Windows all over again. So I'm going to say Windows 11 Home and click Next. And this is uh, asking you if you accept their user agreement. Feel free to read through it. Uh, we are going to do a custom install. We are going to install it on the only disk available. Hit Next. Now it's going to copy Windows and go through the boot up sequence. So if you just keep following the prompts, eventually you'll get the windows. Here you want to pick your country. Um, well, I'm the United States. There we go. I want a U.S. Labor, U.S. keyboard layout. You guys, you know, pick whichever layout you want. I'm going to hit yes. Now, I do not want a second layout, but you can add one, certainly. Now it's going to ask us to connect the network. So this motherboard does not have Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Ethernet. Otherwise, you're going to need a Wi-Fi or USB dongle to go ahead and connect to the Internet. So I plugged in my Ethernet. Should find it. We're connected. And we're going to go. Now it's going to go through checking for updates. So we can sit back and relax. Wait for it to go through its processes. We have the Windows licensing agreement. Let's go ahead and accept all that. Uh, feel free to read through all that. Hit accept. We'll just skip that for now. Name it whatever you want. Okay, we can go ahead and sign in. So here you just put in your email and all that wonderful stuff. Basically, you're just going to follow the on-screen prompts from Windows. You're going, to, you're going to be asked to set up a PIN, choose your privacy settings, customize your experience, connect your phone if you want to, then it will check for updates, then it's going to get a few things ready, and then eventually, after some time, you'll come into Windows. All right, we have successfully installed Windows. Now, installed... I recommend you install whatever browser you like. I'm using Google Chrome, you know, um, not too keen on the one that comes with micro Microsoft Windows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look up our motherboard, which is the <coughs> ASRock B660M Pro RS. Uh, what we want to do is go to the ASRock website. And from here, we want to go to support and then we want to go over to download so support then downloads and there's a couple things we want to download all right so one of the first things we want to download is the ARGB control center for the motherboard so we'll click that global uh, and then we want to download the ASRock motherboard utility so we're going to click that and that's also going to be global. So, okay. Uh, now, let's go ahead and click what we need here. So, let's download the motherboard utility. And basically, you want to extract all. You want to install. And click it again one more time after we extract it and now we're going to actually install it to windows just follow the on-screen prompts next yes all that wonderful stuff 
Uh, it's relatively quick, like 10 to 20 seconds. Um, and then you're done. All right, so here's the motherboard utility. Uh, so settings, we want it to start uh, when Windows starts. That's just personal. Here's your fan controls. You can control your fan curves. This is system statistics, uh, information, uh, temperatures, fan speeds, all that wonderful stuff. And we have OC Tweaker. We're really not going to mess with that. We're not going to tweak anything in the chip. It's a locked chip. And then, of course, we have our performance where we can set it to performance, standard, or power saving. All right. Now, moving on, we got one more thing to download. This is the Polychrome ARGB. So let's go ahead and download that. And it's the same. We're going to extract it, then we're going to double click it, then we're going to install it, follow the on-screen prompts. And once that's all installed, we'll take you through that as well. Okay, so just a minute, we're going to load into Polychrome. And here you are, as you can see, we see our RAM, we see our graphics card so we can go ahead and control all that uh, one special note on the Montec Air uh, if you hold down the reset button all the way for five seconds the ARGB will turn off and that will relinquish control to the motherboard software so while you're in the app you want to hold down the reset button one two three four five the lights are turned off and now you should be able to control the lights from the software so as soon as you click a color your lights are turned back on just a little fyi there okay uh, one more thing to do here uh, so we're going to go into settings we're going to go to advanced display settings and we are going to change our hertz from 60 hertz to 144 hertz so basically we want to change the hertz to the highest hertz the monitor has to offer so you go into settings monitors advanced display see it's set at 60 so we want to do that drop down box and we want to pick the highest number and we want to keep changes uh, that will give you your best gaming experience that's something you'll need to do every time you plug in a new monitor into your graphics card just keep that in mind it's automatically going to default to the lowest hertz settings so that's a good tip to keep in mind because that will hurt performance and you won't enjoy your games all right Next up, we want to install the drivers for our graphics card, so we'll simply punch in our X6650 XT drivers. We'll come to the AMD website. We are going to hit Auto Detect and Install. Uh, once that is downloaded completely, we'll go ahead and click on that. And it's going to, you want to say yes. Install. It's going to go through the process. And I'm going to cancel out, but just follow the on-screen prompts and uh, it will install all your drivers and software for your AMD card. Okay, this is the AMD Adrenaline Edition. This is your software that's going to help you control your graphics card. So uh, you'll probably see something like this, or you may see a quick startup guide um, that you can follow through uh, at your leisure. But anyway, you have your home screen, a lot of good information here. You have your gaming tab where you can change uh, where you can change your settings and, and anti-lag and chill and image sharpening, enhanced sync, all that wonderful stuff is here. Uh, it has your displays. Uh, you can record and stream, so you can go ahead and set that up as well. And then you have your performance tab where you have your metrics, your tuning, and your settings. So uh, once you download that, feel free to go through that. Personally, I just usually hit standard 
uh, or quality and then leave it at that because it's easy. But, you know, feel free to go through and tweak. All right, moving on. And I believe that is all we really need to do in Windows. Okay, one more thing to do. We need to set up our BIOS a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and restart our computer. Now, as it's restarting, we want to hit that delete key. Just keep spamming it over and over and over until the uh, BIOS shows up. So, okay, so we want to go down here to where it says DRAM information. Well, you see, you see DDR4A2 team group, DDR4B2 team group. You notice that it's in auto mode. So we don't want it in auto mode. We want to force that into XMP profile one. So basically you're just going to click on the auto and in profile one, DDR4, 3600 should appear. Now the number is 18, that's the speed of the RAM. Uh, 22 is timing. Your speed may vary, but we want to make sure if you got 3600 RAM, it says 3600. If you got 3200 RAM, it says 3200, and so on. And now we are getting the full speed of our RAM. What? Now we're going to go up to advanced mode. We're going to go to tools. We're going to go to auto driver installer, and we're going to enable that. Um, that's important. Next time you boot up Windows, that'll pop up and install all your BIOS drivers that you need. Okay, now we're going to go to boot. And we're going to make sure CSM is disabled. That's important. All right. Now we go back to advanced. So basically, we want to make sure CMS is disabled. We go to advanced. We go to chipset. We go down to above 4G decoding. We were just there chipset above 4g decoding you want to make sure that that is enabled what it should is and we want to make sure that cam is enabled as well clever access memory and that is enabled and that is your resizable bar uh, and then from here basically that's all we're going to do so we want to save and exit at this point so we're going to go up to exit we are going to save changes and exit Hit yes, and we have completed the setup for Windows and the BIOS. Your machine is ready for gaming, so download your favorite game from your favorite website and have yourself a great time. So, all right, let's wrap this video up. Now, I hope this series has helped you all out and how to build a computer. Now, it's impossible for me to answer every possible scenario that could go wrong, but just keep in mind that uh, you can Google most problems on, on Google. Like for example, how to enable resizable bar on your ASRock B660 motherboard and nine times out of 10, somebody's had that problem and will take you through the process. And the manufacturers also on their websites have uh, troubleshooting guides for common questions. So feel free to look it up there as well. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really like what I'm doing, give it a thumbs up. And if you really like what I'm doing, I think you should subscribe so you get notified when we create new content. And with that said, you all have a great day. And thanks for watching. Bye now.